I'm Jim Trainer, and I teach animation at the school. My artistic practice is in filmmaking, and it has mostly been in animated films, uh, particularly traditional hand-drawn animation. Around 1998, I embarked on uh, what became a series of uh, films about animals. It started with the bats. We got along with most of the pitches, but every once in a while, a low pitch would come along and kill one of our babies. In my movies, the animals are kind of speaking from an a intellectual human perspective on their own predicament. It's a little bit of a joke in my movies, but the animals seem to have insight into their own um, behavior, but at the same time, they're kind of powerless to, um, to do anything about it. I mated with a man who is not my husband. I killed my identical twin sister. I am especially proud of one movie I made called Harmony. I um, combed through the animal kingdom and I just found all kinds of very unseemly things that animals do. Um, for instance, I learned that, uh, that hyenas always have um, twin babies and one twin always kills the other. I killed my girlfriend's children, which is to say, I killed all the children of all of my girlfriends. I let my husband kill himself. project that I've been working on most recently is a live action movie um, shot on video um, and it's also feature length. Okay, and then smash. Some years ago I became very interested in uh, parasitic wasps. I never considered actually dressing up people to look like insects exactly. I thought it would be a little too corny to give them wings and uh, antennas and things like that. So they're basically um, wearing uh, leotards that have some insect-like stripes on them, and I thought that was enough of a suggestion. In a way, I felt like it was easier for people to impose their imaginations on it if it were simply stylized. My hope um, is that people watching the movie will not initially realize that it's not about human beings, but just after a while, uh, their behavior will st start to diverge so much from what's normal that you'll start to realize that they, that they represent insects and not, and not people. The title of the movie, Pink Egg, um, refers to something which is unique among this uh, group of animals, uh, which is that the females are actually able to choose the gender of their offspring. Nature, natural history, animal life um, has been a kind of a constant interest of mine um, ever since I was uh, very little. That said, I'm not a particularly outdoorsy person and I don't particularly like animals that much on a sentimental uh, basis, but I'm kind of fascinated by them. I'm interested in their ugliness and uh, meanness and cruelty and I'm interested in the Darwinian struggle of uh, for survival. So I think I'm interested, attracted to nature for all the wrong reasons. People want to take uh, comfort in nature. I think that people want to see nature as, uh, as harmonious and that somehow there's an order to it, that there's a kind of uh, balance or meaning. It's a very disharmonious world and it's not particularly comforting to me, the world of nature. It seems like it could be better, but it, but it isn't, or it could be, Maybe on other planets, it's not all constructed on things devouring one another or exploiting resources mercilessly against one another. But on our planet, unfortunately, that seems to be the, the going pattern.